Hello and welcome back to GMP Miniatures. This video is not so much a painting tutorial, it's just a video of me painting a model how I would usually paint it and of course I will include all the paints I use and describe what I'm doing so you could follow along if that's what you'd like to do. So first off, I'm priming the model with the airbrush using Vallejo White Primer. Uh, you could do this with an aerosol can, doesn't make much of a difference. Next up, I'm base coating the pants and the coat, the main parts of the model. So for this I've used a mix of paints. It's Vallejo Shadow Grey and Vallejo German Grey. Uh, the Shadow Grey is two parts and the German Grey is one part, so there's twice as much Shadow Grey as there is German Grey in the mix. And also what I like to do when I've uh, mixed paints, I like to put a little bit of paint thinner in. Uh, this stops the paint drying on your palette, makes it last longer, and you can get, hopefully get the whole model done without having to mix paints multiple times. Okay, so now I'm moving on to base coat and the metal parts of the model. Uh, this includes the arms and legs. Uh, I think there's some metal on the belt buckle as well. So for this I'm using uh, Gunmetal from Vallejo. Now I'm base coating the waistcoat in Vallejo Cold Grey. And now base coating the shirt in Vallejo Foundation White. I've moved on to the gems now. Uh, the small gems all over the model on their elbows and ankles. Um, I'm base coating these in ultramarine blue from Vallejo. Uh, there's also two on the back of the model that you mustn't forget. The face is painted with a Citadel paint, a Cadian flesh tone. It's a foundation paint. I'm just covering any skin areas like the face and neck. So, moving on to the final base coat, this is Vallejo Cold Grey, and I'm just covering the hair. Before I start using any inks on the model, I'm just going to paint in the belt using Vallejo Black. So, starting with the inks, I'm using Vallejo black ink here, and it's been watered down, one part water to one part ink. Uh, I do this with pretty much all of the Vallejo inks, inks because they're quite, quite thick. So I'm just covering the whole model except his skin. So, washing the skin, uh, sorry it's a bit fast, I'll just describe it now. It's uh, half Vallejo skin wash and half Vallejo brown ink. So that's a 50-50 mix of the two inks and that's used on the skin. So this is Vallejo cold grey for the waistcoat. Now what I'm doing is go I'm going over the mid areas, uh, not the highest areas. I'm just avoiding recesses um, and leaving that previous colour in those recesses.
Now I'm going to be moving on to the higher areas. This is a slightly lighter colour grey, Vallejo Stonewall grey. Um, like I said, I'm hitting the higher areas and leaving the two previous grey colours in the recesses to give a kind of nice field of depth to it. So I'm going to do the same process on the face. So first I'm hitting the medium areas with Citadel Ratskin Flesh. And then after this we'll move on to the higher areas with a slightly lighter shade of skin tone. Skin highlight colour, I'm using Army Painter Skeleton Bone. Uh, this provides a nice highlight to the face. I'm just applying it to the nose and the cheekbones, any majorly high areas. And of course, finishing off the face with the eye patch. So I'm painting this in black. Um, I have also painted the eyeball in but I didn't capture it on camera because it's, it's quite tricky to actually um, paint and video at the same time and an eyeball is a very small thing to paint so I've just um, done that off video. And here I'm painting the shirt with Vallejo Dead White, uh, just hitting the medium areas leaving that previous colour in the recesses. Moving on to the rest of the model, we're going to use the same technique we've used for the rest of it. Um, I'm using a mix of 2 to 1 Vallejo Shadow Grey and Vallejo German Grey. It's the same paint from the very beginning of the video. Um, I'm going over the, the medium areas of his jacket and his pants. The same process of what we did on the waistcoat, but it's just different colours this time. Now moving on to the higher areas of the pants and coat, I've added a bit more shadow grey into that previous colour, so it's about it's around about three parts shadow grey to one part German grey, and I'm just going over the slightly higher areas, getting that depth of colour again. back to the metals I'm using Vallejo silver here and I'm just giving the metal a highlight we aren't going to go with the kind of medium to high tones this time we're just going to go straight in highlight the metal uh, with Vallejo silver Now, to match the crystals that are on the model, they're obviously blue, uh, I kind of wanted to give the metal kind of blue glowing effect, so to do this I use Citadel Gilliman Blue Glaze, I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but it gives a really nice effect to the metal, uh, it's almost like the gems are powering it. And now moving to the gems, I'm using Vallejo Electric Blue, and I'm just painting uh, the higher areas and the edges of the gems. Now I'm highlighting the gems uh, with Vallejo Dead White 
Um, I'm just trying to hit the very edges, the sharp edges of the uh, gems. I'm using the Citadel Blue Glaze um, and I'm just putting that on all the gems. So the fur round the coat, I'm using a dry brush and I'm using Shadow Grey and I'm just dry brushing that over and then I go ahead and put a little bit of foundation white, mix that in and then dry brush that over for a little highlight on the fur. Same kind of process with the hair, dry brushing with Storm Mold Grey and then I mix a bit of foundation white in there to just get some little wisps of white hair going on. So here's a look at the finished model. Uh, I'd just like to thank you for watching the video and I hope you've enjoyed it.